Zhong Lianbin has been working in semiconductor engineering for three decades. He's a perfectionist, and you have to be. He prides himself on getting everything right, down to the last detail. Semiconductor manufacturing today it's involving more than 1,000 steps, and we are not talking about just getting one step correct. We are talking about getting all thousand over steps correctly lined up to be able to have a functional chips. The first step is design, a monumental task. Given that billions of transistors have to be fitted onto each tiny chip. Semiconductor design, it's actually developing the architecture for integrated circuits. So design is like kind of a building a skyscraper. Uh, architects and civil engineers that we discuss about the high-level building plan, where to put the utilities, how to lay out the rooms. Once the design is complete, it's sent to the fabrication area otherwise known as the fab, where it will be made. Getting in is not a simple process. There is one enemy that can never be permitted to enter, dust. Not one particle can be brought in. It's called gowning. But it's not really a gown that they put on. They call it a bunny suit. But despite the funny name, it's one of the most vital pieces of equipment in the factory. It's designed to keep the dust, hairs, and skin particles we shed the whole time from polluting the pristine factory floor. Even the furniture in the gowning room is designed to maximize cleanliness. It's all made from stainless steel, right down to the benches and shoe racks. Once you're tucked safely inside your bunny suit, there's one more stage before you can finally enter the clean area. You need to take a special shower. Filtered air is blasted through dozens of vents, removing any particulates that might have made it this far. This is like a half a minute out of one million years. That's the amount of the control that we have to, in order for us to be able to have successful uh, wafer fabrications. The production line is a hundred times cleaner than any hospital operating room. But cleanliness is just a precondition. The work is yet to begin. The machines here are some of the world's most sophisticated. Without them, the technical advances made in the design rooms could not be made a reality. It all starts with a perfect, clean silicon wafer, 12 inches across. It's spun at high speed. A few drops of a UV-sensitive liquid are enough to coat the wafer evenly. And then, it's into the photolithography machine. It's a bit like the way photos used to be printed in a dark room, but in a machine costing a hundred million dollars and with the accuracy to match. 60 years ago, a transistor we are able to see using humans' uh, naked eyes. Today's size is in fact like uh, almost 10,000 times uh, smaller than a human hair. That's a huge amount of uh, innovations uh, especially coming from photolithographies, 
in order for us to print or define such small patterns onto the wafers.